Don't hit me on my phone about no money, I ain't got it. Don't hit me with no text. Paul Hella Beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, man. I am here. We are back for another day with another vlog. We're gonna do a challenge. I have my wife with me today and my youngest son. We're gonna go out, try to see what we can find. And uh, maybe she'll do some talking in the camera and you guys can get to know her. We'll see what we can do. All right, man, so we heading down to some stores. You guys seem to like the last vlog. We did a Marshalls. So we got TJ. And we're going to get Legos. Um, you guys seem to like the last Marshalls vlog. We got TJ Maxx over here. We got uh, Ross over here. There's a Burlington somewhere. Nordstrom Rack. So we're going to try to pop into one of these stores, see if they will allow us to film. See what we can find if we can find some good gems. I'm not sure what to look for though. Last time we did 20 bucks. Some of you guys said bump it up. Some people were okay with the 20. So I feel like you know 20, 30 dollars should be a good spot, good sweet spot for us to find some good cheapies. Because I know a lot of you guys and girls out there are looking for some deals. So see what we can find. Max and relaxing. And let's do it. Oh, by the way, while I'm thinking about it, man, the missus and I have come together like a superpower, like Voltron. And we're going to go through and make a vlogging channel. We have everything linked below if you want to check it out. But comment and let us know what you'd be interested in seeing, like, because we want to bring that to you. And be an early subscriber and join, man, because I think we're going to have a lot of dope content on there. But we definitely want to know what you want to see. Also, man, write what you don't like to see from couples channels, too, because I know... There's a lot of irritating people out there and you might not want to see some of the stuff that we do on a regular basis. So just comment and let us know so we can have a perfect viewing experience. All right, man, so another day, we're getting to it. I got TJ Maxx that we're about to try to roll into. I got my NASA shirt on because I'm out of this world. And, um, and I got the true blues on feet, man. I got these in 2016, so hopefully they don't give me no hard times because I want to bring you guys some content, let you know what you can go out to your local TJ Maxx and attempt to find, but we shall see. Why y'all tell me my hat was crooked? Y'all just looking at me and didn't tell me. Thought we were better than that. Be gang. All right, so I just talked to one of the uh, workers here, man. He said they moved the fragrances on the other side. So that's where I'm going to go, see what I can find, pick it up for you guys. And I don't know, man. Last time we were here, it didn't have anything that jumped out at me, but I will see what I can find. Also, I definitely wasn't on the mission last time. I, did. I really don't know why we were here. What were we doing here? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we were looking for makeup deals for her, but... uh We'll see, man. I'll see what I can find for you guys. Should be right around here. Not sure what the display is going to look like, how big it's going to be, but we shall see. I see some coming up, and it's pretty small. Let's see what we got here. All right, so this is uh, pretty small, but let's see what we got here. All right, we got Euphoria from Calvin Klein. I think we bought this from my father-in-law before, a long, long time ago. I'm not sure what they want for this one. What are we looking for? Looking for 30 bucks for that one. I don't know what the hell this is. Lift and tighten. Oh, this is collagen. So for some of you guys out there who, who need to lift and tighten your jawline, <laughs> you could do that. Uh, Yoke Ohm. What are we looking for? 15 bucks. It's got to be 50 ml. Actually, 75 ml, so a little better than I thought. Perry Ellis 360 for men. Eight bucks compared to 16 what they traditionally wanted for it. Burberry Weekend. Damn. Man, you don't have a lot. Chrome United, we saw that. Again, Burberry there. Burberry Brit. Calvin Klein Obsession for men. And that's Obsession Night for men. We want to go around to the other side so you can find now. They do have like ton of beer products here though so if you're looking to tighten your beer game up you're good to go African black soap beer oil from the company called the beard society hair pomade four bucks some really 
Ooh, so there's nothing on the other side. I feel like we might have struck it out here because I don't see anything that's really worth us buying. They have Burberry Touch. You can never really go wrong with Burberry Touch. Let's see how much they want for it though. 30 bucks. It's not a horrible price for Burberry Touch, but you can obviously get that much cheaper online. But if you're not looking to wait, then um, that might be one you can pick up. Let's go through here. Contradiction for men. I've never heard of this one. So it could possibly be one that we could pick up. It's like the uh, Calvin Klein headquarters here. I feel like I could be wrong here, but I feel like someone told me that Beverly Hills Polo Club Champion is one that we could do. Maybe 10 bucks. I think I'm gonna have to go back and check that out in the comments, but I feel like someone told me that this is one that I should look at. But uh, I just feel some type of way about buying a uh, Polo Club. I was in a uh, Cubist car chat one day, he was talking about about that at least growing up where i grew up in baltimore man um you can never really rock that you gotta rock the regular polo this was more or less like a burlington type of thing and you would get clowned for wearing uh anything that was polo club so that has always stuck with me okay so i did come down a bit more to the clearance section and i did find some stuff here so you guys may be wondering what i found so I have this penguin fragrance I'm not sure what do they want for this one they want 12 bucks for that Penguin. I, I don't have anything in my collection like this, but what did catch my attention was this here. So it's pure coffee, right? So you guys know I like pure coffee. I've done a few videos, actually one video on pure coffee, and I do like it, right? So it's 40 bucks for this one, and actually have two of them. Now I have pretty much done a full bottle of pure coffee so I'm not sure I need another one now there is this whatever it takes again so after watching the first video and digging into some of the comments what we figured out is that Kanye West actually donated the artwork and I know it sounds pretty simple because it says artwork donated by Kanye West on the front but there's also a George Clooney version that some of you guys talked to me about and there it is um, I think this one's actually cheaper here than it was at the uh, at Marshall's this is eight dollars here and then Marshalls, I want to say it was 10 bucks. So it's even cheaper here. But I think this uh, Mugler would be a great buy for 40 bucks. I mean, it's a $90 fragrance that you guys can catch out in the stores. But now, clearance at TJ Maxx, 40 bucks. Not bad at all. Now, this is interesting. The George Clooney one, which in theory should be the same fragrance, right? Kanye West. George Clooney. The George Clooney one on clearance is $24. And the Kanye West one on clearance is $8. Same fragrance. I wonder why that is. Who's better? Whose team are you on? Kanye West or George Clooney? I don't think it's worth paying, you know, triple the price. Alright, so it's not the cleanest looking display, but you do got some gems up there. I'm gonna head over to the other side, see if I can find anything else. Shout out to Mickey Mouse. I do not have the money, okay? Did you hear me? All right, so I wasn't able to find anything on the men's side, but the women's side is pretty stocked up. You got a lot of stuff in here, man. You got a Tommy girl for you in the Tommy Hill figure. CK1 Red edition for her. Juicy couture in here. Now my wife has a few of the juicy. <sighs> They have a men's fragrance mixed in with the women's, which means I might be able to find some more. Let's see what we got here. Um, this is a, I feel like some of you guys asked me about this one here. Black Walnut by Banana Republic. I mean, this one is a men's, men's fragrance. How much is it though? 20 bucks, $20. I think this might be one that we could pick up and at least give it a try because some of you guys I think talked about this one when I did the Banana Republic first impressions from the iconic or icon series. Let's see what else we got here. This could be a good contender though. Here's another men's fragrance. It's called Blue North by Jean Marc. Uh, 10 bucks as well. 
if we could do like a double up like we did last time and get two fragrances for the price of one then we may be winning modern by banana republic as well just another one from them so they got a few of them in here some of you guys mentioned this blue jeans last time we were here i can't believe we didn't pick up versace men's blue jeans oh here it is here it is once again it's 20 bucks honestly i've never smelled this one i hate to admit it but i've never smelled this one i just was never a fan of the name therefore i never <laughs> attempted to try it out but we'll see all right so here's another curve fragrance this is called curve connect and this is a men's fragrance as well cool red canister i've never smelled this one either so i might have to try this one out you gotta dig deep in here man this is uh, another men's fragrance this is a zaro nighttime i've never heard of this one a zaro nighttime 20 bucks it's uh 100 ml hmm all right, so I got three fragrances I'm picking up. I decided on three. We're gonna make this a $50 challenge to double, a little bit more than double what we did last time. Didn't have as much, so we had to like, you know, really dig. But we'll see what these come out to be, what they smell like when we make it back to the house. Did you see any there that you would have want me to pick up that I did not pick up? Big baby, you should have picked this one up because it's a masterpiece. I would like to know. So we're gonna check out and then get it back. Let's get it. All right, my mission complete. The mission is complete. We had three new fragrances in the collection. Hopefully I like these, man, because I could have. And we're going to go to get some toys for this little guy. Our only Legos, according to him. So yeah, man, hopefully I like these fragrances because I was like 50-50 last time. Like I was, you know batting for 500. You know, I got one that I liked, one that I did not like. So now, we have three fragrances here. It's all, maybe all of them I've never heard of before. So we'll see. All right, so we picked up everything we needed, stopped in, got some pillows and home goods, blah, blah, blah. Now, we haven't got the Legos yet, so now we are going to go pick up the Legos and hightail it back to the crib so we can smell these fragrances and see if we got some steals and deals or do we flop. Catch y'all later. All right, man, so we are back home at the crib in the fragrance room. It started raining like crazy. It was raining cats and dogs. I should have filmed it for you guys. We got the TJ Maxx pickups. We're going to see what they smell like. We picked up three of them, which were the Fila, the Banana Republic, and the Azaro Chrome. We spent the, uh, it's not the Zorro Chrome, what am I talking about? It's called a Zorro Nighttime. And it's nighttime. <laughs> so we spent 50 bucks, 20, 20, 10, that's 50, 53, 47 with tax. And the retail on these things came out to 72 bucks, so we saved about 30%. I'm gonna start off with this uh, Fila one, man. I, looks like, I just like, took the, the wrapping off of it. Then I realized that we needed to film it. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna fit, see what this uh, smells like because I feel like it might be a hidden gem. Okay. So just the cap smells like fish. I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> it does. Whatever I thought was fish, I, I could smell it even more when I when I spray it. It's not fish. It's obviously not fish. It's cheap. But it could, I don't know. It smells like it could be good. That's what it is. It's like alcohol. Because I just got it. <laughs> so, I don't like this. This went away like immediately. You could possibly wear this one to the gym. But... 
yeah save you 10 bucks so far Fila, you are a no-go. So the good thing about that Fila one is it kind of dissipates really quick. All right. Azaro makes some good fragrances, so I'm excited to see what this one smells like. All black bottle. It's very light. I was expecting it to be a heavy bottle. It's like earthy and citrus at the same time. It has a strong citrus smell to it. It's like, I w right, it's like I wanna like it, but I don't wanna hate it at the same time. It's like a dirty orange peel. Not quite as clean as um, Teta MS, but if you were looking for a cheaper, a lot cheaper alternative, this one could work. Like I have to let this one dry down, but right now I'm just getting a lot of dirty, orange citrus still earthy as well not bad but not great we're looking for greatness i mean for 20 bucks you know it could work i hate when people say like a poor man such and such but that could be a poor man's tear to ms like i could see that and then black walnut from uh, banana republic i feel like i paid too much for this because i could have got them said it to me possibly but all right, so the presentation on this one is by far the best. The best presentation. I do like this cap. It's kind of big, but I do like it. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like a cabin dog. You just pull it like. Okay. Oh, this one's good. It has like a, a niche quality to it. It's very smooth and subtle. I, I like this one the best. So this one has, to me, the, the most dominant note in this is cedar. Like I'm definitely getting cedar from here. I like it, it's light. It's not like a molecule or one at all, but this one is one that definitely smells of higher quality than these two. It's light, I think you can wear this one to work, and I think this one is probably the best buy. If you're looking for a fragrance that is going to be clean, crisp, it's just woody, it's aromatic, and it doesn't smell cheap at all, right? Obviously, Banana Republic probably would have sold this in their stores, I don't know, 40 bucks or so. This is still not, that's not expensive, so I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> this is probably the, the pickup of the day. Goes to Banana Republic Black Walnut. I do like this one. Uh, I, I might wear this to work tomorrow. If you have this or any of these other ones, comment below and let me know your thoughts on these. Um, if you're in a TJ Maxx, you know, might want to pick this one up or those other ones that I showed you I showed you um, pure coffee that's in there that one is a steal at that price point and then again the whatever it takes the eight dollar one is the one I would tell you to get with Kanye West versus paying triple the price for the George Clooney which is the exact same fragrance so hope you guys enjoy this one uh, don't forget man no misses and now coming out with a joint channel I'll have a link below subscribe to that because we'll be coming out with some fire content together some challenges listen man I wanted to do like a mukbang where all Reese's peanut butter cups like 50 king size Reese's peanut butter cups but she doesn't want me to do that so if you're on my side let's do it I think that would be hilarious I probably would like puke all over the place but I think that makes for good content so <laughs> as always I'm your boy Big Bad B don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and hit the goddamn bell